Hey, little camera dude thing. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, ah, ah. Hello. Good morning. We're here again. Afternoon. Evening. And I've changed a few things, so hopefully the webcam doesn't like go all jittery and things. Because um, it seems to be okay when you're watching the stream, but then when you watch the recording. Which is this? <laughs> um, I think that one's Niabs. One of them is. One of these is Niabs. It might be this one, I don't know. I think that's <laughs> Niabs' chair. <laughs> we love yeah. the Niab. <laughs> yeah, Niab loves the fact we use his chair in streams. Always. Um, you're going to notice that there's only two of us this week. Yeah, we ate them. We turned the cannibals. To yeah. wear zombie games. But um, that pizza didn't turn up in time last week, so I ate them. Yeah. Sadly, the pizza guy got lost in the street, so... Yeah. So uh, we ate him as well when he got yeah. Yeah. And the pizza. That really <laughs> like, we preferred human flesh to pizza, so we made a human pizza, which is... I, mi I missed half of the show last week because of that pizza. I missed half of Nathan because you ate him. <laughs> 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 We're not ordering food this week. No. Well, well we're still full from. Not yet, anyway. Well, I, I don't know. know. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of hungry. So. We might order another Nathan and Jordan later, so yeah. Yeah. That could be interesting. Probably order them about between six and seven when they turn up. Mm. Well, it's six now, so our delivery should be on its way. <laughs> anyway, that's yeah. difficult. Hello, uh, human organ people. Can you send me a Nathan and Jordan? Yeah, I've been a bit hungry, you know, a bit yeah. peckish. Did you order mm. them from Outlast? Outlast. Yeah, actually. Game connection. Oh, last. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the guy's a bit of a math doctor on the end. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eight last, right. We, we may order food at some point, maybe. I don't know. Just down. I'm, I'm, I'm hungry. I've had pot noodles, so. I've eaten today. I just. I'm still hungry. Anyway. As we all do. Oh, yeah. Hey, We're streaming. We're streaming. We're doing the show. Hello. We've so got to say hi to everyone. Well, why he said. That was the chair, not me. Why haven't done speak? Mine does. It's because I'm leaning on the table. There we go. There we go. We're ever so slightly closer to you now. Um, we're going to talk about Payday 2 again, aren't we? Yes, we are. Because yeah. you found a bunch of Payday and Left for Dead stuff. Well, that was Payday 1. I've been yeah. looking at the beta and there's a bit like Easter eggs about YouTubers and stuff. Mm. Um, but I don't really know too much about that, so I can't like abandoned it. Mm. Payday 2. I actually successfully done a heist with, um, well, no, I didn't. As soon as I walked in the club, I got, I was like, what up? No. <laughs> <laughs> I walked in and the guy saw me straight away, so I just like started shooting people and robbing the bank. No cops got me. I got four bags in the van by myself. Pretty awesome. Yeah. On the nightclub one, we found they, they have a CDJ 2000 for the, if you're DJ lovers. Um, right. Payday 1 is quite a funny game. I haven't really looked too much into it, thinking of getting it to try it out for the story, to continue from Payday 1 to Payday 2. Even though there's not really much of a story in it, it's more mm. just like a social network for thieves. It's like, hey, let's get together, yeah, let's go around there, wow. How just do? Yeah, like... Because they're all that technologically advanced. Yep, because everyone's like, social media now. But you found connections to another game, didn't you? Yeah, with... Payday 1 with Left 4 Dead. In Payday, you start off in, um, well, one of the missions is in Mercy Hospital, which is also featured in Left 4 Dead. There's, like, numerous Easter eggs for that mission. Well, as soon as you start in the elevator, or the, over here you call it a lift, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there's a um, bill from Left 4 Dead. He's just, he destroys, um, what is it, he distracts Vla Vlad, is it? No, his name is Vlad? Vlad. 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 I, I can't relate to that. I can, but I have Left 4 Dead 2. He's the guy you talked to on PD. You've yeah. never you've played Left 4 Dead 1. I've played bits of it, yeah. So you don't know much better. I've got Left 4 Dead 2. Nah, it's all about Left 4 Dead 1. No. There's less infected. But I only got 2 because it was free on Xbox Live. So. Me and John used to know all like glitches and stuff, how to go through the level easier, so. Hmm. Yeah. Um, you like you see numerous things from Left 4 Dead in Payday One. It's like pretty fascinating. You should take a look on YouTube. It's pretty cool. As soon as I get Payday, I'll probably start posting some more videos related with these Easter eggs. Like there's one where you're walking down a corridor and there's like the Left 4 Dead witch in like a closet 
or wardrobe, as you call it here as well. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit married to us today. Yeah. Aluminum. I said that wrong, didn't I? <laughs> Aluminum. <laughs> yeah. Well, you just see random Easter eggs in the game, and what I do love is Easter eggs in games, because like, it's like the... Yeah, most of them seem to be in the hospital, though. They yeah, are. From what I could see. I didn't see any of those. Because you showed me the video on YouTube. Well, it's Mercy Hospital. If you play Left 4 Dead, you know Mercy yeah. Hospital. And it looks pretty like similar as well, like set out. Is it? Cool. We'll have to compare both games. There's another Easter egg as well, where um, if you're playing Payday 1 but in the hospital, the doctor's ID badges are the developers of the game. Yeah. So you look at them, it's got the, like, the developer names and uh, stuff. Overkill, on them. isn't it? Yeah, Overkill's the people on there. Do you hear the door? I hear the door, yeah. I hear I'm just going to ignore it. I know, it's probably just someone... If we get killed, it's on my account. So probably it's on me. Yeah, fine. pretty cool. So yeah, um, got a load of different things going. Yep. Alright, uh, what, what was the other? Ooh, there was, was a Easter egg. There was another Easter egg as well, I think. There's well as like, video. <laughs> Dr. Feel Good, Dr. Feel Good is... There's yeah, a Dr. Dr. Feel Good. There's to represent... Um, what's his name then? Is it Dr. Dr. Crowbar or something? Or I can't remember. The guy at the half life. But there's some. Um, there's another one as well where the nurse is doing call outs. Yeah. For doctors, but they're using like game names like Doctor Mario and things like that. Yeah, and used um Bill off Left 4 Dead to be on him and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I think there was one more as well. I'm not sure. He says before you like go into morgue, or the bodies are apparently twitching. Yeah, they don't twitch though. No, I looked at that. It's like twitch, twitch. No, no twitch. All right. Well, the bodies. Meant you twitch in, as I just said three times. Yeah. The Vlad says to you, You're left for dead, hurry up and get there, otherwise, you're left for dead. Yeah. That's like the biggest Easter egg you could probably say. You pretty much just mentioned left for dead. My favourite was the yeah. witch, though. I mean, like. Yeah, because that one had. That more proves put into the it. connection that is to do with left for dead. Yeah. There's more put into that, because obviously it's now like a. You know, there's, there's an actual graphical witch that. So that you at the window and she's crying like on the floor and then she's like bam she's there. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Flo. Hello. Yeah, we're doing yeah. the stream. Who's gonna have the keys? At the end? Uh Nathan's gonna take them. Cool, bring him in tomorrow for that night, make sure it's all locked up and he's switched off. Yeah, okay. We'll bring him in tomorrow anyway. Yeah. Alright, awesome. I have keys. That's yep. I have keys for this building. That's <laughs> awesome. We like that. Yeah. Like stuff like, um, why is he like Duke Nukem or not, don't you? Uh, you haven't seen him play it? I got him in Duke Nukem for, for a while. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's awesome. <laughs> it's funny. So you was the one behind him. I used to do the AD to Mighty show with him. Yeah. I've just gone off track. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's, ah. it's a random show, we don't care. It's live, that's what the whole point is. Live. If it, was all on, if it was all on track, then it would be edited. We're not edited, we're live, so there. Yeah. So I could like freeze and I could teleport somewhere else, then now through all the edited. Yeah. Edited. Edit, edit. As you can, when I'm edited. So then. But what will be edited is what we're going to do uh, tomorrow. Ah, yeah. yeah. We're, uh, not gonna, we're not going to talk about that. Teasing fails. We're going to hint, find we're gonna hint and tease you through the whole stream whilst Joe smashes his Nokia, which is indestructible. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, Left 4 Dead stuff and Payday stuff. It's not working. connected now. Joking, it's working. I can see it's working, it's kind of like... Yeah, so we've got like loads of cool stuff mixing up between the two of them. But we've also got um, more Minecraft stuff. Now, I have a, I actually have a Minecraft PC server. I've kind of properly set up with an actual server, but I don't play it that often because we started playing um, the Xbox version. Yeah, well, I so need the laptop to get Minecraft, but mm -hmm. my laptop got smashed up. Yeah. Smashing. So, I have on here this tiny little flash drive that is the entire NCG village on Minecraft. So, you've got like a little Minecraft universe in your hand. Actually, technically I have three. Three universes? Yeah, because I have the NCG normal Minecraft, the Mass Effect version of our village, and another one as well. It's a Just little tiny free universe in one. Actually, the whole game's on there, with all my skin packs and everything. I just downloaded the game once already. Well, you've got my stuff. You've got the stuff on my Xbox anyway. You just got to plug it in. It'll be fine. Yeah, I tested it before I left. It should work. So we're gonna play Minecraft when we finish the show. 
Yeah, so if you want well, to know, when we finish the show and when our Xbox turns up in the building. Xbox Minecraft. Yeah, we're going to play Xbox play Minecraft. It. But the point is, I actually have a PC version of the server as well. So I can do a PC version. But the reason why I'm mentioning that is because not many people know this. There's a hell of a lot more stuff in the PC version than the Xbox version. Obviously. Just the PC version is more detailed. And it's pixel, it but it's started, more detailed. It started on the PC version anyway. So and The reason why I mention that is because they've recently added horses. Horses? Yes. Nay. You can actually tame horses and ride them. Why the long face? Now you can ride pigs normally. Really? Yeah. I, have, I, I don't play PC Minecraft, so... There's, um... You can do it in the Xbox one. This chair is comfy with a headrest. Yeah. You can do it in the Xbox one, you can ride pigs. I've actually got a saddle to ride a pig, I just haven't used you it just yet. just throw it on a pig and you can just ride a pig with yeah. it. You can ride wolves. Uh, no, you can ride pigs. That's it. Oh, no, you wolves. But I say you can ride pigs. It's more like to sit on a pig and go where the pig wants to go. Go with the flow of pig, like your boats. Yeah. Like the flux boats. Yeah. So you just pretty much end up wherever the pig wants to go. You should You can't control the pig. Can the pig jump off a cliff then? Yeah. And then you actually see pigs fly? Yeah. Your wolf? I've seen pigs do loads of stuff. <laughs> I saw a pig jump off the, the, the exterior wall of our village the other day. Do you remember in our village we saw a pig mm -hmm. trapping a sheep in a little hole and it's like jumping on his head for like half yeah. hour? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you saw loads of swim around the island, didn't you? I've seen loads of weird things happen in that. Yeah, apparently a creeper blew up my wall. The creeper's blown loads of holes in your wall. Really? You've done more? Yeah, I, fi I fix it every time, but it keeps blowing holes in the walls. <laughs> I, wall my mine, you know the mine that I have <laughs> in, in Minecraft? Poor balls. Yeah, wobbles. <laughs> you know the mine that we have in mine, in our village? Yep. I've, I keep digging, I've extended that. Now that's broken into like loads of little like dungeons little and things. So now there's actual enemies walking around in our mine now. Cause I only found one mon I found loads of enemies, but only one monster spawner. I've disabled that monster spawner, but then there's loads of others which I can't find. Oh, really? They like teleport to the wall then? I think so. They can kind of spawn. They spawn, I mentioned it last week in last week's show, they only spawn in dark areas. So what I tend to do is I quickly run around and put torches everywhere so they can't spawn in the immediate area. Yeah. I'd be, sometimes be honest, they, right? Sometimes good, they break the walls. Though. It's horrible, but a good feature for Minecraft would be actual torches that go out after a while. Yeah, that'd be cool. Cause it's, it's, yeah, it's cool, but it's a horrible thing to do. Like, yeah. why should we do that? But it's more realistic in a way. Obviously, I think there's mods yeah. and things for the PC version where you've got more realistic torches than they the PC go, version. They would go out after a while, they'd be out. Yeah, the, 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 the PC version, there's a way of creating electricity as well, and generators and things. So you can have like electric lights. And What's those like red, redstone, what's it called? Redstone? redstone, that's like electric. Yeah, that kind of works Similar. as electric, yeah. I watched one the other day where the guy had made a redstone kind of nuclear reactor thing, and it was just like, it was power and everything. But, they worked out that their server that they were running it on wasn't powerful enough to do that. <laughs> so it kind of just crashed their server out, making like a weird redstone nuclear reactor. So they they mean a redstone so nuclear bomb? Pretty much, yeah. Just crashed. Bombed the whole server? Yeah. Oh, so there's a bomb to be honest. No, there's a text. There's a text. There's a bit of a weird text. It's time. Mikey. Emily Elliot is obviously at you again, but I know this. The break. Oh, okay. Apparently, I like fingers up my hairy bum. Oh. Yeah, you got Facebook right by his girlfriend again. So we, so we've been told. Hey, I'm a gamer with a girlfriend. Yay! Everybody <laughs> has a man. What? Everybody has a man. Thought there was a new man. Uh, yeah. There was a time when they didn't know. So Minecraft's pretty really cool. See, geeks are in these days. Yeah. Because of the interesting ones now. So yeah. I might end up starting a my, like NCG village in Minecraft PC edition. Mm. Cool, just because there's a to lot PC. more in it. Yeah, that'd be cool. Do you know what would be better? If they connect both of them? If they just interlink them properly. Like um, they've done an update for the pocket edition version for phones and tablets now. So is phones and tablets can connect? They, yeah, well they can connect to each other. 
But it's before you had to connect like on the same Wi Fi, but mm. now you can connect across the internet and everything like that. That's pretty But you still can't use you still can't cross platforms between like PC and Xbox and things like that. Yeah, you got a um you got your obviously your Mass Effect mm. um skin now, haven't you? Yeah, I got the Mass Effect stuff. That is a re- re- really weird world. Have you, have you actually played in the Mass Effect thing yet? I went in the Mass Effect world and it was just weird. Oh There's yeah, that's the one last week. zombies been. everywhere, but you can't see them. And yeah, that's the one where you starved last week because you couldn't work out what the food looked like. Or what the trees looked like or anything. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't find food. It's quite funny. That's quite rare for me. Yeah, because everything in the Mass Effect version looks different to what it did before. The Mass Effect world is just like literally a worldscape. Just, it's just to yeah. go on fun it's mode, really. Skins. It's just a skin version, but people are using it as the proper version now as well. If you go on the Mass Effect world, can you take the skin off? Yeah. And then you can see where everything is properly. Yeah. yeah I, can, I can swap hours to the Mass Effect one and then swap it back again. Hey, does it look weird? I haven't done it yet. Mm. I, started a whole, I started a whole new village with the Mass Effect pack. So you find the village again mm. on a new one, or is yeah. it like a whole different respawn of a whole There's thing? always a village. Remember the first time we went in our village? Un- <laughs> unless you specifically go in the options and say do not create structures, it, 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 it always forms a village somewhere. Well, uh, the first time I met a village, I was kind of a bit loose and started killing everyone and set a volcano on the village and yeah. blew up half all the houses. All the villages are dead now, the village now. How come? I don't know, they all just died off. Do you think the... I uh, watched a couple of them swim out to sea and I didn't, they didn't come back. Really? Is that <laughs> yeah. bad? <laughs> yeah. We made the village better. We destroyed <laughs> the houses and made them a fortress. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we combined the houses. Some of the villages. I watched a couple of them actually swim out to sea and now they're on different islands. I don't know where they are. I haven't found them yet though. What bit they were there. There was. There was. Like, island. Yeah, there we go. I killed them on the mushrooms. But we dug up half the island but there was like nothing on there. They come back eventually. My. I, I, if. I'd like to be able to see how big my mine has got. Mm. Like, get like an underground map view of the mine. Can that you see that? Awesome. I'd like, no, I don't know. Probably like a mod on the PC version or something to do it. Probably. But I'm pretty sure, because I've started coming out in like monster caves and things now. So I break through into a monster cave and there's monsters and shit in there. Yeah, we're going through for them. Yeah. It's gone really, really far. I think I'm like pretty much from one end of the map to the other now. We need to make an end of world portal. Yeah. Well, the, the only problem is I can't find the stuff to do it. What do you need to do it anyway? You need the end of crystal for No, I need a diamond pickaxe, which I can't find any diamond. The only diamond I had, I made a diamond sword sword with it, and then the sword went sunk to the bottom of the ocean. Not pretty to make things good. Yeah. But I need to find diamond to make a diamond pickaxe, then I gotta dig up obsidian, or make obsidian by combining water and lava. Do you remember the time when I found that ender crystal? Yeah. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Kill the enderman. Oh, like, yeah. Hey, how can you find a crystal? No, you, found was an ender, you found like, an en- ender pill. He was halfway through a segment. I thought you meant like, throw Joe, it. Like, don't, Joe, don't throw the ender pill. Oh, you threw the ender pill. You said throw. <laughs> you said throw it and you was, you I said if you, throw, if you throw it, you teleport. And all of a sudden you went, oh. I went, no, don't throw it. And you threw it. I teleported. And you wasted it on the ender pill. I was probably from <laughs> this chair to your chair. Yeah. And yeah, you threw it like a foot and you went like, Ugh, and then just jumped forward a foot and it was like, well, that was a waste. I'm lazy, all right? I can pop the jump. What? Guess what, though? What? I have like, I have three end pulls now. You have three of them? Yeah. Can I use them? No. I'm, I'm not going to tell you where they are. I've hidden things in, in, our, in our village. Just from me. I've hidden things in the village from everybody. That's a bit greedy. Like, because people... Buying my own stash. I've got my own store. You could, like, under... I, I've added more stuff since we last done the stuff. So the big mansion house now, you go around the corner, and then underground, there's, like, a big storage warehouse underground. Just told us. So, yeah, well, that's not a secret, that bit. Oh. There's an actual signpost for that bit. <laughs> but then, <laughs> hidden elsewhere in the village, because everybody kept nicking the iron... Is that the time capsule, then? <laughs> yeah like hidden stuff somewhere else in the village because everybody kept nicking the iron to make swords and things is my iron collection 
I'll show you where that is later, but I'm not sure. One day I'll place. make Newport City um, gaming. No, it's that's say, I'll say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I got, I've done loads of stuff. We're going to play Minecraft. Yeah. When our Xbox gets here, which could be after 7 o'clock now. Which is when I show finishes, so that's okay. Oh, what else we got? Uh, I've written down Fruit Assassin. Fruit Assassin. Oh, yeah. yeah. That was weird. What the hell did you <laughs> show me? Go and YouTube. Cookie. Um, Chop Chip. Chop Chip. And look at Fruit Assassin. If yeah. you love seeing fruit getting blown up and shot in slow motion, it's for you. If anybody watches loads of YouTube stuff, you'll know what I'm on about. It's the prank versus prank people. They did, they did it. Um, using Ryan... Ryan Richards or Ryan Reynolds, he does all the gun slow mo stuff. Yeah. But they combined both videos and they made it. They made like a, ga- a pretend fake gangster called Chop Chip. And he has like cookie bling and yeah. Yeah. He's That's eating a cookie whilst firing an AK forty seven at a water, yeah, yeah. which is quite funny. I'd say right. It's definitely <laughs> for your vegans and vegetarians out there. You'll love that video. What shooting veg? I'm <laughs> <laughs> sorry, yeah. evil of mine. <laughs> But we like Nathan and Jordan. Yeah. Yeah, and other yeah, people. Eaten the knife from me as well. So yeah, go and watch that, it's quite funny. Um, some other YouTube stuff you want to go and watch is PewDiePie. Oh, PewDiePie, legend. Go and find PewDiePie, his videos are funny. He does one with the Oculus Rift playing uh, playing Slenderman. <laughs> and is that the headset? Like yeah. the virtual? Yeah, the Oculus Rift is the virtual reality headset. Looks like a piv. But Got you can a, um, night vision goggles it looks like in your head. Kind of, yeah. It's like, like, flat. Flat. He's got it's like, like the some sort of dread, Joe Stred look. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's got like the first developer version. Like Joe Stred. Robocop, that's what it looks like. Looks like you're Robocop. Robocop doesn't have that. Is, is Joe Stred now saying one's head like that? It's one of them. Joe Stred's got a helmet on. In. Mm. Robocop's got a helmet on. I'm excited for next year, by the way. Why? Because there's a, a Robocop film coming out. Oh, I um, thought it was exciting because it's going to be an even number, 2014. Yeah, well, there's also a Robocop film coming out, a new one. A new one. Yeah, where he looks badass. He's all, like, black and stuff, and he's all shiny and things. Ooh, he's got polished. Yeah, he's all badass. He's been upgraded, yeah. yeah I'll show you what he got restored. I love it on one of the films when you've got the little kid and he hacks their ATM machine. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's all like the old stuff, though. I'll keep you occupied with weird sounds. Beep ba 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 beep ba 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 beep ba 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 poo. New Robocop, right? Which looks absolutely awesome. Also, you know, one day we'll be able to put this up on like a screen and show people. Yeah, can you imagine that? Just like, there you are watching us, and then you go, boom! Big open pop up window. Robocop returns in 2014. Robocop. Yeah, so he's gonna look really cool. Um, no, I don't want to download your app. Go away. Just don't you hate it when you go on websites on tablets and things? Like, like, do you want, do you to, want download to download? The app? Do you want to download this app? No, I don't. No, exactly. Politely asking. We're ramming it in your face. Whoa. Oh, yeah. You guys should Google Robocop 2014. Yeah. Google the new Robocop. He does look. But not right now. After the show, because. Do it after the show, because you yeah, might. Yeah, you might lose us. Tail. He looks badass, doesn't he? he I like, like that. He's got a hand. He looks like something from like, from like Halo or something like that. Yeah. Looks pretty sick. It's pretty cool. Um, he's got all new stuff. He's got a new motorbike. Like cool. Yeah. That reminds me of Halo actually because it's like a big Halo ring thing outside the planet. Everyone who lives yeah. in poverty is like left on Earth, but all the rich people are on this perfect Halo ring with. Did you know? No cancer and stuff. Fun fact for you. The da, da, da. massive, the big ring on Elysium. It's actually a concept for something that they want to make at some point. In real life? Yeah. Oh, so they're going to leave us all on Earth in poverty? Well, no, they're not, <laughs> not in that way, but they have worked out a way where it would be possible to... It would just orbit the Earth or... It would take absolutely, like, years. hundreds of years to build it, because the thing is basically a huge, like, town. So they want to build another planet. planet. They want to build planets, their own planets, portable worlds. Yeah, it basically, it's a satellite. Future! Work. It's a satellite world. But anyway, yeah, I saw that on the making of Elysium, where they said, well, actually, this thing's kind of real. We might be making it at some point, but not for, like, not in our lifetime. Haha, <laughs> like we can have the resources to make all that metal. 
Yeah. That, well, that, that's what they're saying. It takes so many years to make it because it would take so Do you much. Do there's like other money resources on other planets then? Probably. I know that they um, and then like thinking of moving people from Mars or something and like no one built them too. It's too hot for Mars. But they found like, in, like I think they found like water is water and stuff on Mars. Eventually they'll spots. probably be able to move people there in, in like copy stations you, um, and stuff. You could just basically uh, what's it called? Oh, I can't remember what it's called. When you, you turn a whole planet into a habitable planet. It's like T zones and stuff. I did a lot of that on um, Spore. I played Spore. Bug me. That's gonna bug me. Yeah, not, if, not have you played this played the game Spore? Yeah. You can mess with plants on there. Did you ever get that far? Yeah. I'm I actually like pretty much got to this in the Grox with like the evil empires of the galaxy. Sat there as a little cell made into that. Mm. Yeah, I used to mess with planets, like turn them into like um, all sorts, like customized colors, everything. I actually found cool. cheats for that game, so I can have anything. Yeah. Ah, Good old cheaters. Do you remember when you can get loads of cheats for games? Yeah, like um, I actually got a cheat. GTA was about. I got a cheat CD for GTA Vice City. Yeah. yeah. Where it gives me infinity health and all. You used to have um, actual like discs and cartridges and things that you could put into the console. They let you. They let you cheat then. But no, they, that's why I love their games. The developers yeah. always had cheats in the games. Yeah. I used to have when I had my DS. I used to have something called an R four card. Well, I had the I R four I because I had the DSI. Mm. But you could put a memory card in it, you put all your games on there. Don't pirate games, it's not good. No, it's bad for you. Pirate, put all your games on there, your legitimately copied games. Like, I had a pirate but then it had a built in. It had a built-in um, cheat option. So you could load up through the cheat cartridge into the game. What's this for now? Stuff. The, which console? The DSi. Yeah, the DS, you got a little RS, yeah. Yeah, you, you got, got the, uh, the, the R4 card. It's 50 games on there and all. Yeah. It's pretty cool. I, I, I had one that just had a memory card, so I put my own games on there. I didn't buy I didn't buy the one that had like loads of games preloaded mm. on it. Why it about some games is that if you cheat, they actually bring up achievements or stuff like that, calling you a cheater. Yeah. I hate that. That's the only oh, embarrassing what games, part. What games is that? I know Sport does it. One, Sport does it. Yeah, there's you one game right? online. I can't remember what it is. But there's one game online that what if you're playing it online... It's it give, it puts like a weird skin on you, which indicates you as a cheater or a hacker. <laughs> so everybody you're playing against, but it's basically like they publicly shame you online for being like a hacker. Microsoft does that on your Xbox Live game as well. You obviously you yeah. can rip people off or put mods on your Xbox to customize yeah. your character and do things you can't get. Well, yeah, you can do the player rating system thing. But they'll 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 call game. you a cheater. They, they'll yeah. put on your title this person is a cheater and remove all your game score. Well, yeah. they used to, I don't know if they do anymore. I don't know if they do anymore. I've met someone like it, it was quite horrible actually. There's a few games, there's a game there which literally publicly shames you. You can't change the skin, you're basically permanently like scarred with this like cheater skin on your, on your... I know, they look the different. Game. Yeah, it looks, it looks cool, but then everybody knows then that if, you, if they play against you, you're probably going to cheat and like oh, wow. mess with the game or hack the game or something. I can't remember what game does it though. This brings me on to mods. Yeah. A good mods. game for modding, which, well, you probably bang to find a modded match. Half Life. Like. It... <laughs> Fair enough. Half Life is going back to it for modding. Gary Mods. Gary Mods. <laughs> what were you going to say? Though? I was going to talk about, um, well, do you know Call of Duty World at War? Yeah. That's like probably the major con for me because that's like my first favourite one. If you've gone any match these days now, you're probably bang to get like a modded match with someone's. Obviously, yeah. awesome these come along with mods. We used to have colourful words. And yeah, well, when I was playing one match, there was um, like a flying mode on it where you just fly around the map and you have and then grenades. I took advantage of it and just literally flew and threw grenades at everyone. It's like I had maracas. Hmm. Maracas. <laughs> <laughs> See, when we edit this, we should have like maracas in our hands and doing this. Yeah, just do that all the way through the show. Yeah. Yeah, but. You could, that's just like that's normal mods for Call of Duty. In like yeah. Half Life and Counter Strike, they were proper mods. They were Destroy, like just actively like actively stripping everything out of the game and changing everything and doing stuff. Like there's one which is. Oh, it's um, in that generation of mods. I was. It's pretty cool. I gotta show you guys. Left 4 Dead is pretty good for modding, actually. Yeah. We should try and do that one day. Um, in a way. For modding, you gotta <laughs> use the PC version. So, can you mod Xbox versions then? 
Is it more difficult? Yes and no. It is strange trying to mod games. If you mod on Xbox, don't you like keep you off Xbox Live anymore? Usually, yeah, because that counts as actual game hacking and trying to See, break the game. They do it on World at War, but I don't think they care anymore. No, in any way. I play mid, you're on, it's fine. But like, all the mods I saw used to be in like Half Life and Garage mod and things like that. Counter Strike. There's a, a Garage mod game which is called Prop Hunt. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Prop Hunt. Awesome. awesome. You, gotta, you, you, just, just, you start with like three people in like suits and you gotta go around and find you can go with, well, yeah. I don't know if you start with suits it's the one useful but yeah, you, you can start, go with disguise with suits prop, any prop. the standard default character which is the character the standard default character model for all games is a character that stands there with its arms out like that mm. and then you, you animate the character from that but you start off like that and mm. then you, you walk, anybody who doesn't know what prop it is you go around and you become like different objects in the game. Yeah, I saw one as a snowman's head. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching one the other day where PewDiePie was walking around as a shoe. Yeah. He was floating around on the floor as a shoe. And the people got to shoot, the other yeah. team got to shoot. Is it like three versus three or one versus three? Or? I think it's, I don't know, you can have whatever you want. Well, it's Gary's mods. <laughs> Gary's mods, you can put it out however many people you want. We absolutely get that. Yeah, it's going to be cool. But yeah, you've got to basically hunt the objects. So you could become like a shoe or a barrel or a TV or a microwave and whatever object is movable in the game, you can become that object and move around mm. as that object. Halfway into the show? Yeah, it's pretty cool. So yeah, we've got to get you on Gary's mod. And we get a decent computer and you will download Gary's mod. Well, maybe a few decent computers and a few Gary's mods. Yeah, we could do that. Then we have a Gary's mod e- team. I'm not even sure if any of the servers and things are still up. Well, of course they're still up. PewDiePie still plays Guys, uh, prop hunt. He still plays prop hunt, but I think you've just got to make your own servers now. Yeah, we can make our own server easy, can we? Yeah, that'd be fine. My h- HDMI is broken on this. Just a cover. Yeah, it's alright. Yeah, so we got to just start with that. Uh, what uh, else we got? We was got? talking about PewDiePie at first. Outlast. <laughs> yeah, PewDiePie's been playing that, haven't he? Outlast and Amnesia, a machine for pigs. How's that? Pretty oh, cool. Outlast. Uh, they are really jumpy games. I mean, what what do we work out? At? Amnesia Machine for Pigs was twelve ninety nine on Steam, and Outlast was fourteen ninety nine. But um, Outlast is a World War Two type sort of era game, and Amnesia is more of an old fashioned game. So kind of like a yeah, it's more like of a Victorianish yeah, type like sort pirate, of not pirate, they're pirate ships. There's no pirate not, ships. No, 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 they not pirate ships. The other ships. I've seen one Amnesia where he's in a different ship. No, there's some Amnesia machine for pigs. It's kind of like a mansion oh. house village thing. So that'd be kind of. I mean, we're gonna download it at some point. I mean, it was twelve ninety nine. I like Amnesia scary games. I hate um, scary games. You love scary games. I hate planes. I want to get an Oculus Rift and make you watch, make you play Slender Man with an Oculus Rift. Oh, well, that's the headset thing. And <laughs> I've never played Slender Man before. <laughs> we were going to do gameplays of Slender Man before, but obviously our system went a bit weird and we haven't bought the stuff to buy it. You downloaded it, but no, I don't. I haven't played yeah. it. Slender Man's yeah. free, but you've got to pay for Amnesia and Outlast. I've got a version of Amnesia on my laptop, mm. but I'm smashed up. Yeah. We might see if we can download the game on Steam. Yeah. I need to get my old Steam account back because then obviously I've got Gary's mod and Half-Life mod again. You got them too, what are you getting them? I've got them all already, but I need... It was weird because I haven't used my Steam account in ages, so I tried to log into it and now it's been cancelled for some reason with like all my games and stuff that I purchased on there just yeah. gone. So I'm just like... Just I showed like, you something pretty cool up. earlier, didn't I? The Humble Bundle. Yeah, Humble Bundle's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Basically, you every i think it's every Ten, month or, or something i don't know whatever every month they release they um, like games. Sort of indie games and games are no longer under copyright and things you but purchase on like classic yeah. games and things like that like duke nukem and whatever yeah there are uh, two offers at the moment you've got the normal bundle which is like you donate whatever you want for charity and you get this for charity it goes to like 
Oh, right. Crystal Charity. Child's Play, and there's a couple of other charities it goes I to. I find that quite funny that they called it Child's Play, because Child's Play was a horrible film. <laughs> yeah. They just got banned. Bit of a it? weird name for a child charity. But yeah, so they got... Child's Play. Huh? It all goes to charity. You donate whatever you want. So if you go and Google Humble Bundle, and you donate whatever you want, and you get six games out of it. You know, in ten days, I believe, you've got another... There's, like, more games you can download and buy. But you can connect it to Steam. It all it all goes through Steam. So you have Steam. a Steam account, and you, it basically transfers into your Steam account then the games that you purchase. I saw a Easter egg in Left 4 Dead by Steam. Is yeah. Yeah. yeah it seems like Steam's not that good. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> they actually disown themselves. Yeah. Then you got the other, the other package that they do, which is minimum of six dollars donation, where you get at the moment you've got. I can't remember. Um, you got Serious Sam. You got sit, no, two different Serious Sam games. You got Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem 3D. There's um, is, is loads of games in there. They're and the soundtracks. You get the soundtracks as yeah, well. Yeah, two of them you get the soundtracks with. Alright, oh my god, come on, tab it here. I can just bring that one. But yeah, two of them you get the soundtrack with. That's a minimum of $6 donation, though, so you have to donate at least $6. Yep. And why? Every time I do a stream, does my phone start running? Oh, you've been around here. Yeah, oh, Bez. let's have a listen then. Yeah, hang on. Here's Bez. Let's have some Bez on here. Hello, Hello, Bez, you're on here with us right now. Welcome to our show. Well, we're currently doing a show. Get closer to the mic. Oh, okay, Bez. I'll, uh, I know, there's a strange delay in it, it bugs every now and then. I know. <laughs> what so we, um, yeah, Fez is watching us. Hey! I know what I'll do instead, is I'll just turn up the mic volume. Well, uh-huh. There we go. So this is the famous Fez there. There we go. That's the famous Fez. No, that's not the game Fez, that's the... the um, famous Fez. Famous Fez. What did you talk about before? Oh yeah, that reminds me. me. Fez is one of the games in the Humble Bundle. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> you got to that? Oh uh, yeah. It's Uncle Fez. Fezster. No. Go, I'm going to get the Humble Bundle on my phone, on my tablet. And I was, uh, basically Fez was phoning to say that we were a bit quiet. So we got a talk lined up. Woo! <laughs> That's our first ring in hey. person. First ring in. We didn't ring. even plan that. Yeah, see look, we got, Fez is one of the games on the Humble Bundle. And, and it sorry, is. you've got to pay a minimum of $4.59. <laughs> uh, the Humble Bundle, well, it's called the Humble Indie Bundle 9. Uh, you get Trying to, Mark of the Ninja, Eat Munchies, Beta. Eat Munchies looks funny, I haven't even played it before. Talk about that. Where's our food? Uh, where the food ages go? Where the Jordan and Nathan? Yeah, Jordan Starving. and Nathan are not turned up. You get FTL, which is called Faster Than Light. You also get Fez. Fez, you're a game. Woo! <laughs> uh, that's a minimum of $4.59, which kind of is a bit weird because it does say on your pay whatever you want. But it's for charity. $4.59 for charity. Child's play. But they're all... Um, play with children. They're all like... <laughs> you know, where, where's the actual charity? I'm brand bad like that, come on. There you go. <laughs> You've got Electronic Foundi- Frontier Foundation and Child's Play is the charity they go to. You get Sirius Sam HD. Uh, you get... HD, another, high two different, definition. Two different versions of Sirius Sam HD. You get Shadow Warrior, Duke Nukem 3D, Hard Reset, and System Shock 2. Now, any hardcore gamers will know what System Shock 2 is. Which I didn't know that was, so I'm not hardcore enough. Oh, you suck. Yeah. I should go home. <laughs> and obviously you know what Duke Nukem 3D is, but that's a mm-hmm. pay more than $6 to unlock those games. Um, you well, get no. Hard Reset Extended Edition, sound, and System Shock 2, you both get the soundtrack with it. So that's pretty cool. Just go to, all you got to do is go to humblebundle.com and oh yeah, the normal Humble Bundle is a monthly thing that's indie games and stuff like that, which at the moment is retro shooters, so they're all shooting games retro, but then you go to the Humble Bundle weekly sale, which is the more expensive games, that changes every week, so that's going to change in four days, the monthly one it's is going to change in ten days. Yeah, see I remembered. You and you get Fez. <laughs> you can also download it as an Android app, which I'm about to do now. You get to download it. 
Yeah. Ooh. Let me download the Android ah, app. Ah, I showed you something cool then. Oh, yeah, I found an Android app. There's an Android app for Humble Bundle. Yay. It's no, an APK. No, it's like any iOS, like just Android. There's, um, no. Ah, take that, Apple. Yeah, take that, Apple. You do not get access to Humble Bundle. Nope. No <laughs> access. <laughs> right, so we get the app, which I'm downloading now. For free. Take I that, don't Apple. I e- don't even know what the app's going to do, to be fair. Is there any Apple products in our view? Um, well, I can see Apple I products. I can see Apple see everywhere. Can, they can't see Apple products. So Good. Because the Apple products are scattered around this room and in the other office. Is the computer using Apple? No, that's a Dell. Ah, go with Dell. Uh-huh. So you've got Humble Bundle Wait, app. Dell, not Dell. You've got Humble Bundle app. I'll look at that later. We have a tweet from Fez. Do, 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 do. Um, someone get on the chat. I'm throwing profanities at you and no one's paying attention. Um, I can't get on the chat on my tablet. How are you going to chat? You have to go on the chat on a TV on the screen over there in a second. You keep entertaining Fez for a second. Dad, dad, dad. All right, and random facts about Joe. I can lick my elbow. Mm. Ready? Talk about the stuff on the list. No. <laughs> Talk about the stuff on the Lick my album. Okay, well we got then. Earlier, me and Jason was looking at our Halo Waypoint um, things. What is it? Our stats, isn't it? I the floor. I don't know. I like the floor. It's a good floor. I'll go back to my chair. Yes, we were looking at our Halo 4 stats on Halo Waypoint. It turns out I am... Um, what is it? I had a fear for range on you? Yeah, you got a hundred and... 190 90 metres. Right? I shot a weapon. Don't know why it was. Yeah. In one match. My highest kills in the match is 31, isn't it? 31. Ah, impressive. Mm-hmm. I think, was I level 9 then or not? I think you were level 9 by that point, yeah. Level 9, 30 kills. That must be embarrassing for high levels, but I enjoyed it. But that don't bring me to the facts, as I want a new tattoo, but I'm not sure what I want, but I might get Halo related. Would that make me hardcore gamer then? I uh, probably, yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Need a hardcore gamer tattoo, so... What was it? Was it overkill? No? Yeah, you, no, you wanted extermination, which is the kind of like little weird one. Yeah, if you go gone to Halo Emblems or... No, no, H- Halo Medals. Halo Medals. And searched the uh, extermination medal, it comes up as like a little skull and a... Is it octagon or hexagon box? Oh, it's one of them and it's got loads of spiky things on it. I think it was pretty bad at us, so... Yeah. I'm after a tattoo. I if anyone's like... If anyone could like post any good ideas, that'd be awesome. Why don't you flip it upside down? Because it goes back. It won't go that way. No, push it, push it towards me. It doesn't go that way. What does it? And now you've, now you've turned it off. Really? <laughs> oh no, I turned the computer off. No, you turned the monitor off. That's right, right yeah, It doesn't turn monitor. around, so we can't see the screen. Uh, yeah. Creative Fez says hi. Oh, hey, Fez. Creative Fez. Yeah, Creative, creative Fez. Fez. Is that our number one fan so far then? Uh, looks like it. Do you know what? We should get people sending like, sending like, uh, sanding like, sand? Sending like fan mail and stuff. Like, we we'll have, have a problem chat with them next week. We'll have the chat with them probably. I think of a girlfriend's boss or something. something. I'll set it up over here on the yeah. tablet, but. Yeah. Because uh, the Twitch website doesn't work. Probably. You want the UNC, UNSC um, tattoo, don't you? Yeah, I want the UNSC kind of like eagle thing. Oh, the Halo Reach. Yeah, if you go and Google that and show the eagle and stuff like that. Yeah. Any ideas? Send us your ideas. Yeah, no, sending tattoo I- gaming tattoo ideas. Like someone who's the best person I probably know has got a gaming tattoo is Dead Mouse. Yeah. Or Dead Mouse 5. Or Pac Man one. No, it's not. It's, it's, Dead it's Space Invader. That was, that was a Pac Man one. No. It might be a Space Invader. No, no, he's a ghost on the video. He has a green Space Invader tattoo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, easy mistake. Uh-huh. God, I can flip my phone, Dave. Yeah. Voice is going. Oh, no. We've got the chat room up over there. I can't see the screen, though, because the screen is like... Chit-chat. The screen will not move. It's, it's literally, like, glued to the desk. If you had um, another... Oh. No, we'll get another... We'll get a... We'll set it up. Why don't screen. you just get, like, a monitor and switch over the back? Because we've got half an hour left of the show on it. Well, we've got 20 minutes actually. 20 minutes then. So. 17 would be precise. <laughs> at last, and Amnesia, we're definitely going to try and get those. We're back to Steam again. Steam! So, you can get Steam on Macs now. 
Yeah, it used to be just, just no. It used to be just no, not just this set, you know. But mm. it used to be just PC stuff. But um, unfortunately, Max, due to the fact they're not gaming machines, are still limited to what games they can download through Steam. Why is Nathan one? He wants us alien on their computers, don't you? And yeah. a Mac. Yeah, Nathan wants us to go alien on machines. We're going to build our own though, because I like doing that better than. Well, like the tweenies, we got to build a house. No. When I was little, I watched them live, so I can sing that. No, you can't. Um, so yeah, Outlast, kind of like a World War Two experimentation thing where Germans have experimented on people and trying to like do supernatural sort of zombie type stuff. That's quite crazy because they did actually like do experiments back in World War II, yeah. didn't they? Where they yeah. got like twins and they chop off like one twin's arm and see if they hit the other twins. I should show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they're pretty cool games. Um, if you watch, go and find PewDiePie on YouTube, you'll find loads of stuff up there. Uh, we should be branding our YouTube, not other people. Yeah, well, we can brand. Maybe they'll YouTube brand us one day. Well, PewDiePie. We'll yeah, because mm-hmm. obviously we got a something special that's coming up on YouTube soon. Hey, look, there's our number one fan switch over there. There's fan <laughs> switch. Yeah. Which we're filming on. We're filming a really cool video for YouTube on Monday. Monday? Yeah, yes, we are. Yeah. We'll talk about that yet. We're going to keep minutes. teasing you about that. Just in case. Five minutes remaining until we brand it. Yeah. I dropped my um, phone. I still been, I showed you more stuff about Call of Duty Ghost, didn't I? Yes, you did. The uh, online mission single, pl- single player Clarence campaign Bays. looks absolutely amazing. You start off in space. Like, probably it probably had a breakup with him in a relationship, that's why he needed space. Yeah. Yes, Joe. <laughs> um so yeah, you start off in kind of like space and things and it's like a campaign where you come down there. It's like rods shoot out of like a satellite, which like destroys like Large areas oh, of cities. Um, I That'd be Nathan. Nathan. Hello. Hello. All right. How's it going? Yeah. So we got that. No one's in. Ah, is that? Just let him in. Bro. Yeah, a delivery here. Hmm. <laughs> okay. All right. So yeah, what what kind of stuff do you think looks cool on that? Oh, what ghost? Yeah. The dog. Yeah, the dog looks cool. Um, you can actually be female characters. Yeah, well, you can make. Sexism yeah, we, is now gone. That was just in, that was in the multiplayer one, but the stuff that was announced oh, yeah, in the single uh, player it does look pretty cool. I mean, you got I like the fact that when on the gameplay trailer, you kind of like repelled inside of a building behind yes. the guy that was sticking out of a window and just like dropped down and killed him. They remind me of um, Modern Warfare 2's ghost. Yeah, they probably like his ancestors it's the same or family. They're more of him, just more of them. Yeah, it is the same thing. Because they have the little scarf thing with the skull, like ghost. Yeah. Is this based off the same character? Do you hate how people think it's they can, the, like people think they can draw a yeah. ghost? You can't draw a ghost because you can't physically touch it or really see yeah. it. See a ghost. Just generic pictures of ghosts. Mm. I like the ghosts off Mario. Where they're like, they're like, ah, yeah. <laughs> I, saw cool, cool, like I saw a cool t shirt the other day, it's a poster as well. Um, do you watch Doctor Who? Used to, the angels. Yeah. I was seeing just a poster the other day of an angel and a ghost from Mario oh. can't look at each other. <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. Hey, you play. Us food. Did you finish? Did you bring us food? No, we're still doing it. Come on, jump on the show. That's the I chat thought... room. That's the chat room. No, I've um, videos crashed by the way. That's the no. chat room. That's the um, that's when you've got to play it. That's the playing thing on the chat. Yeah, yeah. You coming in or whatever? Yes, yeah, we're jumping in. Now. Yeah. Play, yeah. Those food delivery guys are really <laughs> isn't they? Yay. Hey, we've got hey, two presenters back, and the other one sits down. Well, we kind of had the last job, Nathan, so he's the replacement. Yeah! So, we need more. I was going to say, we sat on Roger. the uh, imaginary know. friend people. No, we had them. Yeah. Oh, no, okay, we, then. We took yeah. There was no imaginary friends this week. No. no. We had actually had them before we came in. As you can then. see, Nathan was very thoughtful and bought us all Subway. I know. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Didn't think when we first like started the show, um, I done a phone call like ordering a new Jordan and Nathan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you are. Yeah, <laughs> but they don't know we said we're gonna eat them as well. This one comes with slightly less hair. <laughs> 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 yeah, slightly less hair. <laughs> yeah, we got um, Fez watching. Oh, Fez. Fez. Fez is watching. Hello, Fez. Fez Hello. Is <laughs> Whilst we were talking about the game, Fez, Fez started watching. Um, <laughs> he he found us. us. 
you missed our first live phone call. Oh no! Ah, oh, no! Which is kind of sad, you know, you missed it, but it's okay. You can catch up, you can watch the stream. I'll just like, yeah, these two. Right, I, me and Jason's like decided like we would like a Halo tattoo. Yeah, we're gonna get Halo. I would want the, what is it, the, you the extermination, the extermination tattoo. It's like a skull with a hex gun around it with spikes. Yeah. It's one of the medals you can He wants the I'm probably going to get the UNSC logo. Which is off Halo Reach. If you could like choose a game logo like or a tattoo, what would you want as a tattoo, do you reckon? Um, um, same for you, you got to think. I haven't got a clue. They got a wolf on Halo e um, Emblem's mind, so yeah. you can just uh, say it for the sake of it. Halo Emblem's wolf. Yeah, but I've got an mm -hmm. idea for wolf tattoos. Nothing to do with Halo, to be honest. Boo! Oh, so, no, you suck. Joe, okay, you had the A game in Boo! Anymore. You're not a hardcore yeah. gamer. <laughs> no, I'm not. They're cool. Yeah, they're cool. I don't know what I'm yeah, dapped. You like racing, racing, innit? Why don't you like racing stuff? Yeah. Probably get a flaming wheel. I like zombie games as well, so probably something based around them. I need to show you guys the the, the, the crossover with Payday <laughs> and Left 4 Dead. Yeah, which we don't have really awesome. of them, so we can't show. We'll I've show got Payday 2 on me. But Payday, Payday 1, one yeah. Not, I'll show you on Payday YouTube one. in a bit. It's really just, awesome. It was my birthday yesterday. Oh yeah, yeah. we've got a soap now. We've written down here, but... He's now 12. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I wish. I he was 10. You, you know. wish? I wish I was younger. No, you don't. <laughs> No, uh, I'm actually 19. So. This is funny, right? Because we're in the same oh, yeah. school year we was. I'm a, I've mm. only just turned 18. You've mm. just turned 19. And we're in the same school year. Yes. We're, Nathan's uh, old now. Uh, I'm just too old. I'm still the youngest. I'm still the oldest on this show. Screw you, I'm young. I'm 25. Don't look it. Yeah. George, you're like 18. No, it's yeah, like I'm 18. 23. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm the oldest yeah, I'm 24, it's got to be an even number. Yeah. <laughs> that used to be my motorbike number. 24. 24. Is that your haunting number then? No. Oh, all right, it's my lucky number. So what's the film called 23? It's a guy's literally obsessed with the film, like number 23. Yeah. Anyway, we're talking about ghosts for some reason, if I came in. And I was talking about the a sort of t-shirt where the angel from Doctor, Doctor Who. Who and the ghost from Mario were trying to look at each other, but they can't look at each other. Because <laughs> if they look at each other, then the ghost is going to vanish and the angel's going to... Die. It's die. like a paradox. <laughs> the angel's going to, like, stop. Well, the bull don't move until you look behind. Ooh, yeah, and the angel mean. just... Dead. Yeah. That's boo. a boo. That's a one, yeah. Yeah. I, I you didn't remember it. boo? I don't play Mario. Oh. <laughs> you don't remember Mario <laughs> <Super> <laughs> boo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I do not know the boo. I don't know names, I don't, I don't catch names, I'll watch the name again. <laughs> yeah. I wrote yeah, down, I wrote down AVP. Yeah. 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 as well. We got, we got on to ghosts. We got on to ghosts because we were talking about Outlast and Amnesia machine protection. Ah, uh, yeah. Which, with PewDiePie and everything. You didn't watch the PewDiePie ones, did you? Joe told me you watched somebody else's. The American guy. Markiplier. That's the one, I don't, yeah, watch I don't like him. <laughs> Why? I was going to say more about that game we yeah. watched the other day. Oh, Outlast. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. yeah. looks awesome. well, absolutely amazing. PewDiePie is further oh, than Outlast than Markiplier. Yeah. Markiplier completed it. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. Alright, oh, so you've seen the end. Yeah. I haven't seen the ending yet, no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ah, so uh, can you say he's completed it? Because uh, I've, seen, I've seen Final Play on one of his videos. Oh, uh, things, things go a bit screwy at the end. Oh, ah. big, big sort of twist thing. Don't um, ruin it, Bobby! Oh, PewDiePie's playing it still. PewDiePie's got one more episode left. Marco Pie's completed it. Yeah, he's got one more episode left, but he's already got onto like, the plot twist thing. Ah, uh, it is fun. I haven't watched it all the way, but Marco Pie it. says. I want to tell you. It took about 20 mm -hmm. chapters, I think, I believe. I want to tell you. Don't tell me. I want to tell you what it is. The nature of the story on the floor. <laughs> I want to tell you what it is. Don't. I don't like that. Eight minutes. I man. want to tell you. Tell me, tell me, tell me. But how about you tell the viewers I don't like money. There's, there's something in the end of the game. I don't like money. Yes, don't money. tell me. Yes, tell me what don't I tell don't me. like money. He's a successful days. version. Don't, I don't want to know. They're all biologically <laughs> enhanced. 
I don't want to know! I don't want to know what that was again! Oh, find out myself! Okay. You know what? That game actually does remind me of Grave Encounters. Yes, only the film because, Grave Encounters. No, Definitely. only because uh, when he meets that guy on that one bit with the glass, and he was saying, like, oh, I could break through this glass and then just follow him. When he ran around the whole, like, I don't yeah. know, for the whole and house. And in the wheelchair. And then he managed to go back the way he came, the door was open already. Yeah. So he could escape, and it's like... He just ran all the way around. He just ran all the way around, and the door just appeared from nowhere, and he could have just went out. And, yeah. Did we see Grave Encounters too? No, I yeah, it's a terrible one. version of Because he told me it's terrible, I'm not watching it. It is. It's alright. It's absolutely... No. Number one is awesome. number one, it's absolutely terrible. Yeah. I didn't like number one. Number one was amazing. You didn't watch it properly. I did watch it all. I watched it twice, actually. Oh, all right then. Did well, you the last like? one's a paranormal actually. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't know. I've only seen the first one. I don't like I've only s- activity, really. I've only seen the first ever one. I've watched them all, but I think they are right, but Yeah. Nah. Didn't they do a spook okay. version? Good normal activity. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what they might do. I yeah, think most got... of it's just put on like I know all of it is practically like put it. on, but it looks yeah. like it's too much like oh, it's been put on. As well, as I seen it on the paper, payday two, I had a little go at home on my own account. Mm-hmm. Do you know that you only rob the jewelry store? Yeah, you. I don't, I got all through it without the civilians calling the cops. Nice. All eight bags. Jordan, then it's so stealth. You got stressed out with it and bored, so you started shooting people. Yes. <laughs> I hate doing this stealth. I need to shoot people. <laughs> why you, yeah, why you need to? In the special jewelry store, you just need to keep on telling them to get down, because no. they will stay down there. That's what she said. Oh, he said. Oh, yeah. what about? Anyway, we're five minutes after the show. Uh, we have to talk about the one last major big thing. What well, two last? Major big things that we're going to be doing. My penis. No. <laughs> no, we're going to be serious with this one, right? right. So, uh, what are we doing Monday? Um, go for a bike ride? I am. What uh, are we doing Monday evening? We'll be outside game. Yes. Outside GTA, game. GTA midnight release. Yes. We dun, dun, will be dun. at the GTA midnight release. So, in if, you're, in you. if you're out, Around whenever, 10 to 12 o'clock, I think to be game, fair, we'll be interviewing you. Eight o'clock, we'll be there interviewing you. <laughs> I would be surprised if people are not there now. Interviewing you? <laughs> no, there's no one there at the moment, because we just walked past it. Yeah, it's been ah. One thing I'm going to ask, right? You know when you pre order a game? Because in HMV, I've seen GTA 5 for 20 quid, right? And it says pre order now. Mm-hmm. Do you pr- like pay for that much? Pre-order, and then extra. you pay the rest when you get it. I think because so I seen it on the window when we walked past, and it was about fifty quid. Ah. In HMV. Boom, boom, boom. I don't know. Some places do it differently. So I know game whatever you you pay for the actual game, you just go in and get the game. Ow. I, I, so I, I, don't, I don't know why HMV does. Ah, it's weird. Because like I walked past, and I was like, hold on, did I just say twenty quid on the game? Yeah. Put your phone on. Yeah. So we're going to be there tomorrow for the <coughs> TA midnight release. We'll probably be there from like nine o'clock because people will probably get there at nine or ten. <laughs> well, we're doing that all the way for the show until yeah. we come in. Or? Yeah, we're cannibals, mind. Yeah. Um, the reason why we're doing it is quite simply because our studio is right across the road from Game. <laughs> so we can chill here. We can, just, we can camp go. out in the studio up until the point. We got our show anyway. Yeah, we got our show. These guys are going to be on a show doing their own thing. Yeah. Doing the thing. Maybe we, tell, maybe we could tell these guys our show as well. So no, no, it's, no, not, no, it's, 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 it's not part of it. First. Um, it probably right, won't anyway, because yeah, they've so got to be in the tomorrow, so you know. Yeah, we'll do the event and stuff. Um, so we get, we're going to be interviewing people. Oh, yes. I'll be doing the camera. How's your hangover going? We'll interview people. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, Joe's going to be doing an interview asking questions and stuff. So if you're going to be, if you want to be in a YouTube video, because everything we do is going to be on YouTube. For the interview stuff, you can be on YouTube. Can I have the camera? <laughs> <laughs> I know it's a random. You can question. interview people. You're doing a show. I'm not going to be there when we start. Joe's. So stop. You might see my. <laughs> <laughs> my co- my Bring cousin's people. getting the game. Well, um, GTA Five. Yes. Already. My cousin's getting it. Yeah, she's already pre-ordered it, but um, yeah. she gets postal every day, doesn't she? Yeah, she's so got like a left a bed to get a baseball bat. No, that's online. Could have a real left, like baseball bat. Mm. 
Yeah. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. So we're gonna be that. The, we're gonna be there Monday evening until like so early Tuesday morning. I don't morning. like Mondays. Joe, come on. Singing it earlier. Joe, just concentrate. All right, so moving on. Because obviously Joe's gonna interrupt every time I speak. Now. <laughs> um, we're also doing a gaming event. So yes. in about a month's time, mm-hmm. yes. uh, we'll be using mm-hmm. the venue in town, which I'm not gonna disclose quite yet. Top um, secret information. We will be putting in. Keep an eye on facebook.com forward slash Newport City Gaming and obviously the Twitter Newport Gaming as well. You know, keep an eye on them. We'll be putting details out soon. But it's going to be. I think we've pretty much. De- can, I, can I use this slogan? Just, slogan? I don't think it's copyrighted. You're better reconnected. Where'd you get that from? In that O2. No, it's better connected, but better Where'd reconnected. Get connected, I think. Reconnected. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't even know why that would be anything to do with us. No. We're <laughs> <laughs> anyway. hopefully going to get together and play some games and chill out. Yeah, we're going to play some games. Um, it's probably going to be like a tournament style thing. So, will people come in and then we'll just eliminate you as you lose or win? But you got to stay um, around. Don't get all like. Don't, don't leave. Get emotional. Like, as soon as you lose, don't leave. We're not going to execute you. We'll smash anything. the place up. Yeah. We're not going to chop your head. No, off. if it's. Because apparently we've, we've got might. the whole. Venue, yeah, we got the whole venue. <laughs> I've made That's arrang- brilliant, but then <laughs> I've made arrangements for a whole venue. It's not a big venue; it's a smallish, you know, medium-sized venue. Uh, okay, we haven't got to fill like thousands uh, of people. Wow. Uh, You're a sheep man. <laughs> bah. <laughs> yeah, what he's bah. trying to say is that there will be there is a bar there which will be running. The, will be running the actual. That was bar. a bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> We'll be running the actual bar at the event. Um, shut up, Joe. Bar. <laughs> yeah, we'll be running the bar at the event. Yeah. Uh, we might have some music playing. I don't think we'll go with. We might have bands. I don't know yet. Bands. We need to decide whether our bands are going to be there. Can I chuck him out the window, please? That would yes. be bad. Wait for the show to finish, though, because we've got to make this announcement properly. Okay. So. Yeah, so we might uh, have some bands there. Joe, Joe shut up! There. Honest <laughs> to God, Joe. We're trying to have a serious moment <laughs> here. No, we'll do a proper serious video another time. Yes. But yeah, so we're going to do <clears throat> fighting games no. with a bar. Joe, if we can get his concentration for more than two minutes, might have food there. <laughs> He's actually got it for Greg's. He's got, he's got the qualification so as well. It may be Greg's, but we can't confirm that. I get 50% off for Greg's if I work with Greg's. When you get the job. Hit you up. They do platters. Yeah, we can. So, yeah, um, we can confirm that Greg's are actually going to be there. There's not going to be Greg's, probably. Because <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to concentrate on that. But, yeah, there, will be, there might be some kind of food there. There's going to be a bar there which will be run by us. Bar. Yes. We will run our own bar. Uh, um, we'll be selling tickets online for it. Not sure if we'll do anything on the door. Bye. It's probably going to be more, you buy the tickets and then we'll check you in as you come in and we'll give you a band or whatever. Band. Shut up, Joe. Yeah. So it's going to be pretty cool, so in about a month's time. So, yes. you know, keep an eye on the Facebook page, keep an eye on the Twitter. Uh, we'll probably put a proper announcement video out. Um, without Joe on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because no, we'll, Alright, we'll put Joe on it. We'll just put Fez on the phone. We'll put Joe on it. No, we'll, we'll put Joe with Sellotape on his mouth. I'm going to give a shot collar for Joe at some point. That's just shocking. That's what the event's for. The event is to donate money to get a shot collar for Joe. <laughs> Sellotape! Yeah, next, next That's show. That's why he needs a shot collar. Next, next show, if we're going to do a proper series, Sellotape in his mouth. Yeah. Sorry, Joe, I'm going to be on it. <laughs> It's okay, Joe. We've actually finished the show now. <laughs> <laughs> you can carry on there, guys. It's genuinely suffocating, but it's okay. It's fine. Anyway, so the show is done. Yes. And, great question. Are Jordan and Nathan going to be here next week? We don't know. Do you want to ask me a question? You can't ask your question because you're both taped up. Mm. Just nod if you're going to be here next week. Good. I'm going to be here next week. Uh, if there's no team, everybody's going to be here next week. I should be here next week. I should be here next week too. Everybody's going to be here next week. If not, we shall die. 
It was funny if you bit this off my face. <laughs> I'm going to do like a 3 1 in the night system. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. Anyway, let's turn the way. Ah! I'm finished. Bye, everyone. Tell me to rip her off your face. That's alright. Bye, everyone. Yeah, close that. Bye, bye. We went.